Wait, Hassan is racist against white people? You know what? I'm glad he got banned. I can't be having that on this website. I'm I'm white. Good riddance, racist. Serves you right. Serves you white. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw it. Hassan was Send banned. Help. Hassan was banned. Yep, they banned. They banned Hassan. There's like so, like there's so many different angles about this. It, it's so crazy how this. Twenty three months. Past. How this this word that was pretty much dead before Twitch decided to revive it. Holy sh, dude! It would have. But no one would have even brought it up. No one would have even said nothing. Hello, Nick. Swan. You know, if they didn't ban those mods, the, I mean. Just, why not just give more power to a word that's literally almost ancient? You know, oh my god, crazy, crazy, crazy. But, to be fair, in their defense, shouldn't be saying it anyways. But I'm gonna be honest, I asked every person around me, I've talked to all my Henry, friends about it. It's me, devil. Half of them were just like, wait, what? Tell you that's that offensive? Is really and the other half were like, from time not to time. offended in the slightest at all. Have not found one person love. genuinely, you truly that you can offended. You know, but what I have found Pogo. is people that just really don't like Hassan, who are pretending to be offended. I have seen that. Meanwhile, off, you know, off camera, they'll be calling their friends, you know, the arsler and stuff like that too you know behind closed doors you know what i'm saying but hey who are we to blow against the wind right i'm gonna be honest guys they're gonna ban the letter l soon you're not gonna be able to type l you can't nothing negative can be can be typed ever uh because negative things don't exist in real life you know they don't everything is uh daisies and rainbows so can't call you fat i mean technically every time you guys call me fat you're you're body shaming me like ever like technically I, I think what's more important than stopping people from from using words because you're never gonna stop fat the the you're never gonna job or stop the, the the general public, like the people who aren't on this internet what bubble, the people who are not online in this internet bubble, like the R slur, the C slur, all those all those phrases, they don't exist in like the mass general public, right? So what I think the best thing to do for people, I am fat too. I'm not fat. Why do people keep saying that? Like teach people how to not be bothered by things. I feel like that'd be a lot more effective. Plump MFNMP. You lose. know, have like a hardened shell. Be a little tougher. I feel like that'd be a lot more effective. I, I saw that uh, Elon Musk won Times Man of the Year. Technically, you are fat. Technically, I'm fat. Well, deep fried Yeti. Technically, people are like, what about the context? Well, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen black people like, hey. Bitch in word with an a people use you know that that the word all the time like negatively as a joke You know it happens all the time, you know, so it's like I'm I'm just basic white guy. Thanks for the basic white guy Now is not the time to be gifting subs man. It's It's not the time It's too sensitive right now Can we all agree though? This is a really stupid hill to die on for both sides and I, I mean this genuinely not only is Hassan catching a ban, uh, Twitch is also losing out on this because now Twitch is getting memed to oblivion. Uh, Hassan is going to bring his massive audience to Ludwig stream on YouTube to stream on YouTube now while he's banned. I saw a tweet. I'm not sure if it's true, Pine. you know, and of course some of those people, some of those Hassan viewers never would have watched YouTube before and now they're going to. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so the real winner in all this is Ludwig, you know, Lud's over there just smiling, you know, got the paycheck, ain't worried about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he really is the one that came out great. Now you, now you get some free content, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, I look at Lud, he's sitting real pretty. No one watches YouTube. Dude, Lud gets more concurrent viewers on YouTube than he did on Twitch. I've been watching recently. The one that me the most and this is just me being petty and being a public figure and not having this uh, anonymity i hate reddit and twitter they will say and tweet one thing but i guarantee you behind closed doors they're calling their friends the r slur this and that saying this saying i i will bet my entire net worth on it but online they'll just be like just virtue signaling high roading and it's just disgusting you know it truly is and it, i i just know how do i know because i've seen some of you i've met some of you in real life you're just an average person like everybody else and most average persons use say things like like say things like that they do the only people that don't are like minecraft twitter stands and even then like i got into an argument with the minecraft twitter stand once on twitter and the minecraft twitter stand ended up calling me the f slur at the end of it i'm like what just happened? You, you were complaining to me about this and that, this and that, and then at the end of the argument, you, you just called me the F slur, and I was so confused. I'm just like, all right, this person must be 12. <clears throat> I don't even know. You know what I you know what I do wonder? And then maybe this is me maybe I am a conspiracy theorist. Because I always question the motives of companies. Now, I truly wonder if Twitch 
actually cares, like truly deep down cares, or they just want to seem as sponsor friendly as humanly possible. I I'm just not sure, you know, because it would look bad, you know. Uh, listen, so here's the deal. I'm only on... Dude, what just happened to this microphone? What just happened to this? <clears throat> that was embarrassing. Nicholas, I have to stop you there. You have used the C word before. That being said, yeah. that tweet was hilarious and finding it offensive is emotionally immature at best. All right, what tweet is Great this? Tweet. Did you go back to 2015 to find a tweet of me saying, this isn't, this isn't even offensive. The tweet says, if I was white, I would go by the name Animal Cracker. If only. That has nothing to do. All right, deleting this tweet real quick, and it is gone. All right, thanks for bringing that to my attention. I think I think context is very important. Like for example, you want to you want to hear what it was like growing up. Like, um, how do I explain this? Because you know what, I kind of get it. So I again, I grew up as the only black kid in my entire grade Hassan in middle school. So here's a little quick story, and I don't know if any of you ever experienced this before. Just a little snippet into what it was like growing up in an all black or in an all white community as a as like the only black kid so i hated i truly hated and dreaded huckleberry finn i fucking hated those days because we would go to class and that book has the n-word in it quite a bit in fact there's a character named i think his name's jim or something and what we would do is we would people would read aloud and some kids would say it and some kids wouldn't. And every time someone would, the entire class would look at me. It was so fucking awkward. And I'm just like, okay. I could never remember a teacher that said, don't say this. You know? It was just really, really, it was really shitty. So like, those are the sort of situations that like, would personally, you know, bother like me, right? But when I see like what Hassan was saying, I don't know, like even if let's say Destiny was, you know, saying the, the N-word in private, it, it doesn't bother me at all. Cause I felt like I've experienced things that are just way, way, way worse. But then again, people are always like, don't let my, ex your experiences minimize my experiences or whatever, you know, I don't know. I'm just so conf confused. I'm so confused.